Time to answer your common health questions right now. Joining me, News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Soria, the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. And boy, summer vacation coming up, Doctor. We have a lot of people traveling. We want to give them some travel tips and stay healthy. Jet lag, how do you prevent it? How do you deal with yeah, it? Yeah, well, obviously very common. And the best way to do it is to put yourself into the time zone of which you're going to be. So, for example, if when you land it's morning, then while you're in the plane, you sleep. If when you land it's nighttime, then obviously try and stay awake. So the best way to do that is this. Well, it's best if you could do it over the course of the few days before you actually okay. travel, but typically that's hard to do. So the best way, get on the plane, set your watch to the time of which it is in the time zone of your destination, and then do what's appropriate for the time on your watch. So again, if it's, for example, I'm leaving for Europe on Saturday, okay. I have a 4 p.m. flight, the destination, time zone is 12 midnight. I know that when I get on that plane, I have to get situated and obviously go to sleep so that this way when I land, I can enjoy the day rather than sleep it away. So that's what's important. Okay. Also, stay hydrated, avoid alcohol, avoid caffeine, and when you land, try not to get more than two hours of a nap. Okay. You right? Because otherwise then you're gonna end up staying yep. up all night the day yeah. you arrive. Right, so, right. Those little tricks will help you okay. sort of acclimate best as best okay. as you can. Very nice. Maybe you're not flying to Europe. Maybe you're not flying anywhere. You're driving and car sickness. How do you deal with that? Yeah, well, you know, it's very common. All of us have suffered from it, and it is miserable. And typically, yeah. if even when your travel is over, it can last several hours after that. So it's important to know how to prevent it. And the reality is, is it's the inner ear that is out of sync, the labyrinth in your inner ear that's out of sync with the motion that's around you. And so what it can cause is nausea, vomiting, sweatiness, and this sense of dizziness or the room Almost spinning. like you're on a boat sometimes. It right? absolutely yeah. can. And so car sickness or motion sickness or boat sickness are sure. all the same. Mm -hmm. So the best ways to avoid it is as follows. Essentially what you want to do is you want to avoid a big meal prior to getting okay. on, the, uh, on the boat, on the plane, or in the car. You Also, you want to avoid those strong odors of food that can be around you. <laughs> Anything that can trigger that nausea can uh -huh. obviously can trigger some, some motion sickness. But equally important, don't sit backwards. If you're in the front seat all right, or on a boat, look at the horizon. You have a fixed gaze on the horizon that, that can actually help and, and have your labyrinth sort of be in sync with Levels the motion that's around you. You got it. Okay. And then also take a seat where, it, where you have the least amount of motion in that vessel. So in the car, it's yep. a front seat. In the, in the cruise ship, it's a lower cabin in the middle, and on a plane, aisle over the wing, minimize the motion, do, do some of the things we mentioned, and hopefully you won't get nauseous. You'll have a better trip. You won't be sick for your trip. You, you bet. Hey, if you got a question, WPTV.com, just scroll down and click on the health link, and we want to thank you again, Doctor, for joining us. You're as welcome, always. Mike. We'll be right back.